Hedera, and tokenization. It's your boy Crypto Million. I'm back with another one. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Hedera tokenization in two huge markets where Hedera also has compiled a plethora of partnerships man we got that council we got that council so if you like videos like this make sure you hit that like and subscribe let me know in the comments what your favorite ISO 222 project is and if you feel like Hedera in the future could rival Ethereum I'd love to know what you guys think and if you're into super dj plays i want to know more about my portfolio check out the links in the description join the Pope patreon become a member we'll love to have you on the team all right so let's talk about hedera now we, we we have been getting a pullback in crypto and i think we may be headed to the last leg of this little pullback and correction in crypto a lot of cryptos are actually starting to get in the green i'm, I'm starting to get them notifications fam but Hedera here is sitting at six cent and y'all know I always view Hedera as a long term hold. I mean, this is easily one of them holds where you look at it like, OK, it's really fundamentally sound and I can hold this project for four to seven years. You don't really have to worry about high volatility or, you know, getting rug because Hedera is one of those projects that has the institutional trust. Now, it is sitting at a one point nine billion dollar market cap, but. In this video and in, in, in the end of this video, stick to the end of this video because I'm going to play a, a man, a very, very important video giving you an idea how tokenization will work on Hedera. But one point nine billion dollars. And when you look at Hedera and, and, and the fundamentals and the utilities, to me, it's still early. You know, we're talking about a project that has its hands in markets that's worth trillions of dollars and the circulating supply here is sitting at 62 percent of 50 billion tokens so we know if we look at the you know xrp token and the highs of xrp we know that we can see some insane gains with hedera even if it was able to reach the heights of maybe two or three dollars so just keep that in mind all right, uh, Hedera itself has been growing over time. If we go here to the to the um, <clears throat> to the markets here, you can see that this thing is listed on many markets, man. So you know that that's one thing you don't got to worry about with Hedera is the liquidity. I really like the fact that it's literally everywhere, and they have some of the biggest tech giants that actually sit at the Hedera Council. But Hedera is also well, I will say one of the council members, DLA Piper, they're also working on this Toco network, okay? And um, if you don't know what DLA Piper is, go do your research. As you can see right here, it's a global law firm operating through separately constituted and regulated legal entities, attorney, advertising. So, again, huge to have <laughs> this company sitting at the Hedera council in my opinion the toco network which is developed by dla piper hedera governing council member is designed to enable tokenization of real world assets like real estate using blockchain technology toco's technology has inspired the development of tokomex a platform for trading tokenized assets on the hedera network with the toco network dla piper aims to make it easier and more efficient to invest in real estate by tokenizing it, allowing investors to own a share of property without needing to purchase the entire property. And I think that this is a very, very undervalued utility here for Hedera because the real estate industry is one of those industries that's worth trillions of dollars. And in and, 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 and some cases, you know, it's so much regulation and compliance when it comes to these crowd funds and being able to, you know, put a group of investors together and um, raising this money in some cases for corporate real estate well now here family we're we're we're, we're a lot of the that real estate um a lot of the issues with real estate you know because we are disrupting the industry and the issues from you know human error etc just paperwork a lot of that stuff will be un uh, not as important as real estate moves to the blockchain right and in this case hashtag half hash, hash graph technology and why are a lot of these these organizations these winning organizations like dla piper google why are they sitting at the hedera council why are they building on the hedera um uh, ecosystem well it's the most fastest it's one of the most fastest should i say it's the most greenest it is the most greenest right and it has some of the cheapest transaction fees all right so it's you know, literally consistent transaction fees. So if you're doing your books for your businesses, you don't got to be 
docking each and every transaction fee because you already know what transaction fee you will get with the Hedera Hashgraph technology. So again, we're starting to see these these uh these uh we're starting to see the companies that sit at the council, right? They're starting to develop th these projects on the Hedera ecosystem. And not to add, Hedera does have meme coins. Isn't that crazy, y'all? Hedera has meme coins. So this is a look at Toko right here. And as you can see, token summary, asset class, real estate, real estate. You know, these guys are working on making tokenizing uh, a lot more easier on, on the blockchain. So again, make sure you go do your research. I think this is something very, very interesting. As you see, simplifying um the complexities of tokenization so you can focus on changing your world okay so yeah a lot of stuff going on and that's one trillion. you know let's, let's just say real estate is one trillion. even though we know you know real estate is worth trillions of dollars but that's just one aspect we also have another partnership here which is diamond standard right and um from my knowledge diamond standards allows you to uh fractionalize and tokenize diamonds gold etc 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 now well commodities let's just say commodities to make it easier they like it allows you to tokenize commodities here so the migration of diamond standard to hedera is significant because it allows for faster and cheaper transactions on a more energy efficient platform additionally it helps to ensure regulatory compliance and the immutability of data through the hedera's hashgraph technology as for partnerships, Diamond Standard has partnered with many industry leaders, diamond and finance sectors, including Sotheby's, Sotheby's, World Diamond Council, and NASDAQ. These partnerships help to ensure the legitimacy and widespread adoption of the platform. So just, just look at let's look at the circle around Hedera. You know, you get NASDAQ. You, you're seeing all of these, you know companies already proven successful companies these are not projects proven successful companies and they're all somehow connected to the hedera uh ecosystem i just showed y'all a video of, of ibm and how they're utilizing ai technology to um track beer and make you know the whole creation of beer so much easier and now we're seeing you know diamond standard which where you can tokenize gold silver etc you feel me um moving over to the hedera hashgraph technology and it's always the same story it's faster it's cheaper and it's more energy efficient so it seems like i mean this is it's a no-brainer you know what i'm saying hedera man is a no-brainer every major company will look at that council and be like i'll just work with hedera the elites will work with hedera federal government article name dropped hedera all right, so the, the, stop looking at the immediate price action, which is so many people in crypto suffer from instant gratification. I seen a comment yesterday where he's like, oh, Billy, you, you, you video vixen for every crypto. No, bro, I just have a diverse portfolio. You feel me? I'm not sitting here shilling you guys crap all the day. You know what I'm saying? I want to make sure people can come to these videos and get value and pick up on the utility of something beautiful like hashgraph technology and you can say like man five years from now like that was the move so to me it's a no-brainer i'm gonna leave y'all guys with this video right here um before i actually leave you guys with that video we'll actually go to coin perspective because i actually want to show you guys something here let me see if i can actually find the coin perspective all right so if we go to hedera i want to see how far hedera was from okay let's say xrp okay all right so hedera just just right now is a a 12x from xrp so if hedera was able to hit a 25.5 billion market cap it'll be worth 82 cent i know a lot of people are stacking up hedera um, they want to get a hundred thousand I'm, I'm hearing some crazy goals let me know in the comment your goal but i'm hearing stuff like a hundred thousand one million hedera because people are confident this thing can hit one dollar it's like the psychological level so i'm gonna leave y'all with this video here I'm by my boy h bar foundation and the h bar bull a very very interesting video i think you guys Can actually you like this diamond standard and the product that you've brought to market yeah so diamond standard is unlocking diamonds as a, an investable asset for the very first time i'll give you an example these are today fifty four thousand dollars per bar so it's not you know I, I think i'll just i like that token i'll buy it these are 5,400. They're always 10 to 1 through the magic of math. 
Uh, but if even a $5,400 token is, is not something you just on a whim buy. But what's the breakthrough with BitCarbon is that they're all worth a dollar initially. You can always redeem BitCarbon for exactly the number of coins that are behind it. So it provides a stable and inflation hedged alternative to stable coins. How exactly do you use Hedera? Our initial offering was on Ethereum and it worked well till the, the extremely high and unpredictable gas prices made it uh, unviable for us as a business to run on. So we considered other blockchains and we, you know, we finally decided on Hedera. You know, the key characteristics that helped us was obviously, you know, we believe in the governance model. We are an institutional product. So the, the, um, Council-based governance model really helps us. The security, the reliability, and, and most importantly, the low and predictable gas prices. Added to that was the, you know, the addition of the, the token service, which was, you know, for us, it's like a hand in glove, right? That's exactly what we needed, something we didn't need to build on our own, uh, something that the platform provided. The way we work on Hedera is we're quite an extensive ecosystem. We rely heavily on the Hedera token service and the smart contract service. We also use the consensus service for key audit events. We are a regulated entity, and it really helps us to create an audit log you know, on chain. Our physical coins and bars are represented as uh, non-fungible tokens using HTS. Now, what we're launching now is a fungible token called BitCarbon, which is a fraction of an asset token. We also have a peer-to-peer -peer marketplace. Think of it as a centralized limit order book which allows our participants to transact amongst themselves. We currently use USDC as the base currency, but that has been live for the last eight months and, and, and doing pretty well. So if you like videos like that, man, make sure that you hit the like and subscribe, y'all. And again, I know early in the video, I said Diamond Standard uh, covered, big, uh, what's that, uh, gold, silver, but they also do diamonds. I want to make that clear that they do a plethora of different commodities, all right? So that's interesting. Let me know, y'all, what y'all think about that. Interesting, very, very interesting. Um, Hadera, man, six cent. I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. It's your boy, Crypto Millie. I'm out.